Uh, my name's Sherry, Sherry Thompson. Is me. Up in the lodge. A girl named Cherry Ann This little girl want to go to foreign land But to go to any kind of foreign land Money is a thing you have to have in your hand So this little girl, she set up a plan She set a little plan to win a million It's me, my name is Cherry, it's me My name is Cherry, it's me St. Clair and Dufferin area have been invited to perform at two international theater festivals in the UK. Here's a peek at one of the plays they'll perform about a Jamaican girl who wins the lottery. Hi, Ma, it's me. Her name is Cherry. It's me. Rebecca. I win the lottery. It's me. Rebecca. Take all the money. Just me. Rebecca. My name is Cherry. In the era of one, I met a good name, Cherry. Hi. 
Though this show focuses on the West Indian community, the Pelican Players, under the direction of Robin Endres, has dealt into various Toronto ethnic communities since the company started in 81. I was really interested in making theatre a different kind of force, really making it something that would matter in a particular neighbourhood. I live in that neighbourhood. I was fascinated by the different mixture of different kinds of people, different ethnic groups and different kinds of occupations and so on and it just seemed really exciting this is where cherry thompson belongs on top of the world oh, Sake, it is true what they say that from the top of the sea and tower you could see all the way to america that's right I mean, when people go to theater if they go um, from that kind of community it's not themselves they see on stage but when they come to us they see themselves up there do you feel as though these people are learning anything about themselves through watching the performances objectively? I'd say it's kind of an affirmation of what people's cultures are and what really makes up Toronto. You guys aren't Jamaican, eh? Yeah, but I'm... No, we're not. Um, we're Canadians. From the look of it, I could tell you guys are Canadian. You see, this don't have anything to do with prejudice, but I don't like taking Jamaicans. You see, I take two Jamaicans to Jane and Finch and they rip me off. Nothing to do with prejudice at all. You can see the Pelican players perform before they leave for England tonight and tomorrow night at St. Paul's Centre, 427 Bloor Street West. Showtime. Downtown, there's another show about personal struggle, but this is a neighborhood production. The Pelican players have created 15 original plays in the past four years, and now they're off to the Edinburgh Festival. About 600 groups from all over the world will be there. We were really lucky because we got an actual invitation, which means we have a real theater to perform in, a small 100-seat theater. Most groups just kind of come on their own and set up in a park or a church basement or something. So it was a real honor to get that invitation. The Pelican players will be going abroad with a play called Dear Cherry, Remember Ginger Wine. It's about the experiences of a woman who wins the Jamaican lottery and comes to Canada with $50,000. I tell you, we take them from the country, we can't take the country on a bed. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. What, did what did you say? I beg your pardon, what did you say? Sorry. The cast wrote this dialogue. Diana Braithwaite came up with the story idea. She's running from all the things that have happened to her as a child, all the bad experiences that happened to a lot of black kids growing up. And she's kind of running from that, only to find that there's a lot of good things in it too, which she finally realizes when she reaches to Canada. Dear Cherry, it's been two and a half weeks now since you left. You did not even drop a line to say the plane which is safe. Tall boy and not to say, by this time, you must have found some pretty boy in Toronto. But I'm not worried. I know you love me too much to look at another man. This play looks at the pains and the joys of adjusting to a new culture. This adjustment is something most of these actors are familiar with. There's always a missing link and you cannot run from it, no matter who you are. You, you try to live like other people. And when you do that, then that clock gonna say something's wrong. You feel like something missing. The Pelican players will be performing through the weekend here at St. Paul Center on Bloor Street West. Monday morning, they pack their bags and head first for a two-week stint in London and then on to the Edinburgh...